With the passage of the Affordable Care Act, it's the impression that everyone has access to health care, and it's really not true. And so I'm watching for those cohorts of the population uh, who are either being squeezed, for instance, uh, we're hearing you know, the middle class is having to pay a lot more in deductibles and so forth. Uh, also very concerned about the working poor, uh, those who basically aren't poor enough to qualify. Um, and so we don't, don't really have health care for all yet. Uh, that's a goal that I have. Um, and I'm also concerned about businesses, small businesses, uh, the burden of, uh, or the, the bureaucratic difficulty of small businesses uh, insuring their employers. So there's a lot of issues, a lot of outstanding issues. We also have to provide significant funding for the mental health system. Uh, there's a court decision uh, correctly telling us we can't be boarding uh, those in mental health crisis in our emergency rooms. So we literally have to construct an infrastructure uh, of treatment and evaluation facilities across the state and that's going to be a lot of money and I'm very strongly supporting that. In general, I'm the chair of the Public Safety Committee and so I look at the prisons and jails. We have a huge population of those with mental illness in the prisons and jails. Um, they ought not to be there uh, and so we have to find alternatives uh, for that as well.